Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, the Cheeky Scientist. And today's question comes from Ben Green. Networking doesn't work like you said. I have been networking in person and online just like you said, and I'm not getting any referrals. Um, I talk with lots of people and hand out business cards and ask for help, but nothing happens. What's going on? Um, well, if you're handing out business cards and you're asking for help, and that's your primary strategy, uh, you're not going to get a lot of referrals this way. Uh, your goal should be to listen as much as possible and to get people's contact information and then follow up with them. Uh, too often, you know, as PhDs, we think that networking uh, means talking to people, telling them about our, our research or our work, and then handing out a business card, putting the ball in their court, and waiting for them to contact us. It doesn't work this way. It's your job to follow up. It's your job to add value to them um, in hopes of eventually getting a referral or asking them for a referral or asking them to pass along your resume. Um, so the key here is to set up a, a proper networking strategy. Uh, a very simple goal might be to go to two networking events per week. Two networking events per week. And don't just show up there and not have a strategy in place for when you arrive, but instead say, okay, I'm going to connect with three people at this event. Three people at the event, get three people's contact information, business cards, whatever it might be, and then follow up with those three people within 24 hours. And this is what you should always do at any networking event, follow up within 24 hours. Uh, trust me, they're, they're not going to remember you, and 24 hours is not too soon. right? So if you had a nighttime networking event, follow up the next day uh, early on. If it was a daytime event, you could even follow up later on that evening just with a quick note telling them it was great to meet them and then mentioning something um, that you talked about right, to keep the rapport going. Now, when you are networking, you want to add value. Continue to follow up with them every week or two uh, and add value to them first. Don't ask them for anything. Just add value. Connect with them on LinkedIn. Send them an email. Maybe you talked about uh, the type of coffee they liked. Recommend a coffee place to them. Uh, uh, compliment them on a recent job promotion. Any job promotion in the last year is recent, so you can talk about that. Uh, look at their LinkedIn profile. See if you share any common LinkedIn influencers or LinkedIn groups. Get into the LinkedIn groups that they're in whatever it might be. And this is not stalking. This is uh, building a relationship and going out of your way to learn about the other person's interests. Just asking someone for, uh, for something, that's manipulative. Uh, building a relationship with them is not. Uh, so you want to continue to follow up. And essentially, you want to lower the activation energy for asking for a referral when a job opens up or when, the, when a job opens up at their company or whatever it might be. Or you could ask them you know, down the track to introduce you to anybody else they might know um, at a different company or within their company who might make hiring decisions. You could ask them to pass along your resume uh, to the hiring manager. So again, the ball is never in their court. It's always your responsibility. Uh, you have to take the initiative to keep pushing the job search process forward, to keep pushing the referral process forward, and, and this is how you will generate referrals. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.